Pure Bond, Chapter 9, A Day of Tennis. Another day at the CMA Academy rolls on as Jack introduced Sarah and the others to Rio, a new friend that he made the other day while watching him instruct his father's martial arts students. It's nice to finally meet you, Rio. Jack told me that you've learned a variety of martial arts over the years. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. And yes, I have. Who's been teaching you these techniques? My father, mostly. He trained me throughout my life to further better me into becoming what I am now. He also teaches here at the academy. And of course, I had a few other teachers that helped me along the way. That sounds awesome, man. I'm quite surprised you've been able to keep up with everything you've been taught. That's the life of a martial artist. Every day you have to train and maintain your physical and mental physiques. So what lesson did you teach your students yesterday? I'm glad you asked, Jesse. I taught them a martial arts skill called Judo. I demonstrated the basic steps on how to do an elbow blow and a roundhouse kick. And after examining their skills, I've seen great potential from each of them. But it takes time to master any form of martial art. Even I have so much to learn. Wow, that's amazing! You must have had an amazing experience teaching your father's students. I sure did, Sarah. He knew that I was ready to face an important task that I was born to do. Succeed in teaching the students to the best of my potential. I'll be honest, I was nervous at first, but I pulled through and managed to stay calm under pressure. Congratulations on a successful class, Rio. I hope someday the rest of us can find time and watch you teach a class. Thanks, Sarah. I'd greatly appreciate it. After getting acquainted with Rio, Jack and his friends continued chatting with each other in the hallways, now talking about sports. Hey Sarah, I know this question's off topic, but if there was anything else you wanted to do for a sport aside from ballet, what would it be? Hmm, if I weren't into dancing, I'd probably have to say tennis. Oh, I love tennis! I'm always watching those major tournaments on TV. Doesn't this school have a tennis team? As a matter of fact, it does! This school has some of the best athletes on the tennis team. I was able to get some pictures of the athletes for the yearbook. Give me a second while I get them out of my locker. Laura went to her locker to gather the photos she took of the academy's tennis team. When she got there, she opened it and collected what she needed. She closed her locker and went back to the others. Moments later, she showed her friends the photos that she took of the academy's tennis team. Wow, these are some awesome snapshots you've taken here, Laura. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. The group continued looking through the photos, but then there was one that caught Sarah's interest. Hey, Laura, who's the girl in this photo? Based on how she's playing, she must be quite skilled. Her name is Christina Roberts. She's the best player the team's ever had. She's the captain of the school's tennis team, and she even led the team to three national championships. Wow, she must be one skilled player if she's able to accomplish something like that. I agree. Her reputation shows no bounds. Are any of you going to try out for the team? Or at least request some training from her? I guess I can give it a shot. Besides, it'll be fun to take a shot at the champ herself. And who knows, maybe she can teach me a thing or two. Well, whenever we meet her, we'll find out. Later during the day, Sarah was walking around the academy, when all of a sudden, she spotted the tennis team's captain, Christina Roberts, entering the computer room. She followed Christina into the computer room to have a talk with her. Sarah entered the computer room as she saw Christina began typing up a paper for one of her classes. She approached Christina to begin a conversation with her. Um, excuse me? Yes? Can I help you? Aren't you Christina Roberts, the captain of the CMA Academy's tennis team? Yes, I am. Uh, oh, wait a minute! I thought I recognized you. You're Sarah Morgan, aren't you? The lead performer in the CMA Academy's Ballet Club. I must say, you're a real talented dancer. Though, I'm sure everyone's been telling you that over and over again. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. Tell me, Christina, how long have you been playing tennis? For someone who leads the school to three national championships, you sure must have went through some intense training to sharpen your skills. <laughs> you could say that. I've been playing tennis for over six years now, and my mom taught me the basics on how to play the sport. 
I've also been participating in many junior tournaments in order to gain more recognition. And I have won a few titles for the schools that I've played for. Of course, you already know about the three here. <laughs> That's amazing! With all the accomplishments you've had, you should definitely go global, Christina. You really think so, Sarah? Absolutely. You've already got the skills and talents, and with all of these credentials you've earned, you could compete in some of the most major tennis tournaments across the world and surely be recognized by others, even the most famous players. I've been considering that for some time now, but even though I achieved a few things throughout my time as a tennis player, I know that there are still a few things I have to work on because there are many great competitors out there in the world who've accomplished even greater things than me. I know you have what it takes to beat the best in the world. It'll be a wonderful experience for you, Christina. And the more you face them, the more you'll understand and learn their strategies. Thank you, Sarah. Maybe someday, I'll consider participating in those major tournaments and meet some of my idol players. But for now, my talents are needed here at the Academy. Okay, Christina. I'm sure you'll decide what to do when you're ready for it. Yeah! They continued chatting for five minutes, and then Sarah asked Christina a question. Hey, Christina, if you're not too busy after school today, do you think you can showcase your skills to me and my friends for a little while? Of course, Sarah! Anything for a good friend! I also admire you and your amazing talents, too! Thank you very much! You're welcome, Sarah. Well, it was nice talking to you. I'll let you finish your work now. Catch you later, Christina. See ya, Sarah. Christina waved Sarah goodbye and then continued on with the work. During lunchtime, Sarah talked to her friends about her conversation earlier with Christina. I'm glad you two were able to find some time to interact with each other. Yeah, she said that she'll take some time off her schedule later after school to showcase some of her skills to us. That's awesome, Sarah! I can't wait to see what she'll show us! Yeah, me too! Soon after, Jack and the guys came towards the girls' table to join in on the chat. So, what's the news with Christina? Sarah was able to find her earlier today, and she agreed to show us some of her skills in tennis later this afternoon. Who knows, if we're lucky, maybe she'll be able to teach us how to play too. That's pretty cool of her if you ask me. Even I would like to see what this girl can do in the court. On that, we all agree. Alright, let's go out there and give Christina our best support. Yeah! Later during the day at the school's tennis court, Christina was practicing her backhand grip while the machine was shooting out tennis balls. She then stopped the machine for a minute to get her bottle. Sarah and her friends made their way to the court and saw Christina sitting on the bench drinking her bottle of water. They soon approached her direction. Hi, Christina. Hey, Sarah. I'm glad you made it. Of course. And I've also brought all of my friends here to see what you can do. Wow, we finally get to meet the three-time champion herself. Come on now. You're giving me too much credit. So, Sarah, would you mind introducing me to your friends? Oh, right. Sarah introduced her friends to Christina. Christina, I'd like to introduce you to Rio, Kyle, Tyler, my best friends Jesse and Laura, and finally, my boyfriend Jack. I speak for the rest of us saying it's a pleasure to meet you in person. It's nice to meet you all too. Now, allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Christina Roberts. I'm the captain of the CMA Academy's tennis team. And I'm sure you were all told this already, that my team and I won three national championships for the Academy. Yeah, that's really incredible. You guys really put in a lot of training and effort to accomplish something like that. Why, thank you. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this special performance that I'll be demonstrating for you all. Trust us, Christina. We will. <laughs> all right. Then, let's get this demonstration started, shall we? Everyone sat down on the benches to watch Christina's demonstration, while Christina went right back on the court to show Sarah and the others a little tip of her skills. She turned the ball machine back on and began her demonstration. A tennis ball came right out of the machine. 
Christina hits the first ball that came out using her forehand. Another ball popped out soon after and she used her backhand to hit the ball in another direction. Her eyes were completely focused on the balls that came out from the machine and managed to hit all of them with exact precision. Not bad. You saw how she quickly reacted after the balls popped out? Yeah, she's really good. Even quick on her feet while maintaining her stamina. Now I see why she's the captain of the tennis team. After spending five minutes using the tennis ball machine, Christina stopped it and walked towards Sarah and her friends and sat on the bench with them. So, everyone, what did you think? You were amazing, Christina. You moved so fast. Now I see why you're such a skilled player when it comes to tennis. We can tell that you've been playing this sport for a long time. <laughs> yeah, for over six years. Tennis requires speed and quick thinking, and that's how I got adjusted to the sport. Wow, you're truly a real pro, Christina. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate your support. You're welcome, Christina. Christina then asked them all a question. So, would any of you like to join me on the court to learn the fundamentals of tennis? I'd like to give it a shot, Christina. And besides, I always wanted to learn how to play tennis. Well, Jesse, I shall grant you your wish and teach you what I know. Come on! Christina got up from the bench and went to get Jesse a racket of her own. When she did, she walked towards the left side of the court, while Jesse walked towards the right side of the court. Meanwhile, Sarah and the others continued spectating. All right, Jesse! You can do it! You got this, babe! We're all here for you! Thank you, everyone! Christina was ready to go and got into her position. Are you ready, Jesse? Jesse also got into her position. Ready as I'll ever be, Christina. Let's do it. With both competitors set in their positions, Christina began explaining the basic rules to Jesse. All right. First, when you're about to serve, you must make sure that the ball is hit in a diagonal direction. Otherwise, it'll be a fault. Furthermore, the ball must bounce at least once after the server hits it. If the receiver hits the ball before it touches the ground, the server will earn a point automatically. Also, the ball must stay inside the two service boxes in baseline. And when you're playing singles, you must make sure that the ball doesn't land on the sidelines, the out areas that are located on both edges of the baseline, and the two service boxes in front of you. Oh, yeah, there's another important detail I need to include. After the opponent hits the ball back to you, you must try to hit the ball before two bounces, because if you don't, your opponent will earn a point. You will not be able to hit the ball after two bounces. You understand, Jesse? Yeah, got it. Good. Now, let's begin. Christina was the server, and Jesse was the receiver. <laughs> Christina served the ball, and it was heading towards Jesse's direction. Jesse allowed the ball to hit the ground at least once, then quickly reacted and smacked the ball back at Christina. Christina smacked the ball back at Jesse, and they rallied back and forth for about six seconds. When the ball made its way back to Christina, she hits it with a two-handed backhand grip. But when Jesse attempted to reach the ball, she misses it. She's doing great so far. Yeah, she is. Christina's being a great coach to Jesse. I'll say. If you ask me, she should definitely consider applying for a coaching job to teach more young players. Or at least a system in improving their skills. So, Jesse, are you enjoying these lessons? I love it! I think I'm starting to get the hang of the rules of tennis. I'm glad you are, Jesse. Now it's time that I explain and show you the proper grips of tennis. The forehand and backhand. Christina began explaining the functions of the forehand and backhand grips. For the forehand, there are three different grips. Each grip has its own natural height at which you would contact the ball. The higher the natural contact point, the more naturally you can hit across the back of the ball from bottom to top, and more topspin you put on the ball at the expense of pace. For the backhand, some players use both hands for the backhand, while others use one hand. I personally use both hands when it comes to backhand grips. We don't think that you can definitely say that using one hand for the backhand is better than using both hands or vice versa. 
two hands give you more stability on the backhand, and in general, is easier to master. The one-handed backhand gives you more reach, so basically, based on where the ball goes, determines which grip you use, whether it's forehand or backhand. You got it, Jesse? A little bit, but perhaps I'll learn more of what you've explained once we start. Then let us proceed and I'll show you what I mean. Christina <laughs> smacked the ball at Jesse, and Jesse used the forehand <sighs> grip first and hit it back towards Christina. Christina then hits the ball towards the opposite direction. Jesse ran to the ball as fast as she could and then performed the two-handed backhand grip. Awesome! You're doing very well, Jesse. Thanks. Do you want to take a break? Are you kidding? I'm really enjoying myself here. Everything you're teaching me here is truly paying off, Christina. I don't know about you, but I'm just getting started. Wow! I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself, Jesse. But if you want to keep going, I'll keep going. Let's go! They kept competing against each other for about 10 minutes. And within that time span, Christina officially concluded the training session. Ooh, I'm beat. <sighs> yeah, me too. Great work, Jesse. Thanks, Christina. I really enjoyed it. The girls gave each other a handshake and walked off on the court and made their way towards the bench with their friends. Nice job, you two. Great job, girls. You are amazing out there, Jesse. I'm really proud of you. Aw, thank you, everyone. It was because of all of your support that I was able to succeed in this lesson. You gave me the confidence and courage to push me forward. And you've done very well, Jesse. And the rest of you are more than welcome to receive any lessons from you whenever you're ready. I'll definitely consider it. Perhaps at some point, I'll try out for the team. We're more than happy to come by again and watch you play an actual match. I look forward to seeing that. And I do too. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You guys are true friends. The eight friends all had a great time with each other, and they left the tennis court with smiles on their faces as another day at the CMA Academy came to an end. <laughs>